you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over the market a little bit. I know I've been doing it quite a bit this week, but it's been a pretty big market week. Now, I'm starting to get to a point where I don't think it's going to recover. It slightly recovers, and then it gets worse again. Like It's a very weird like pattern that's going on right now. Now, it is expected, but for other people, it might seem weird. It comes down, comes down, goes back up a little bit, then comes right back down, gets worse. I've seen guys like Shannon Sharp go from 350 a week ago to 280 to 260 to 220 to 205. Like, Willie Brown selling at like 205 right now. Things are just greatly changing on the landscape of the market. So, I want to get all in depth on that as we get into this video. I don't know if it's going to recover. This might be the new norm. But again, let me get into an intro, announce some giveaway stuff, and get on with everything else. So, first off, guys, I did do that giveaway yesterday and the day before so the giveaway from two days ago we needed a hundred uh, was it 300 likes 350 likes that one you guys hit i announced the giveaway winners in the last video so go over there and follow the instructions to redeem that if you were one of the winners and then for yesterday's i will be announcing tomorrow and then i'm doing another one today and then i'm cutting it the three days i've done it that's about it so guys to enter this giveaway today i'm gonna post three videos today if any one of those videos stay with me gets a thousand likes i i said 350 would you guys wouldn't do it you did it i said 500 you guys wouldn't do it you killed it if any video today this one the one before this one or the one after this one gets a thousand likes i will give away 150k on top of the 100k and the 50k that i already gave away all you got to do to enter this giveaway is comment down below in the comment section 150k or done comment your console and just like the video it's pretty much just comment down below 150k xbox ps4 and like the video if this video gets a thousand likes the one before to the one after it you guys will be entered for another giveaway it'll be like a grand total of like what 300k worth of giveaways hopefully this helps you guys out especially when mud here is coming out guys now let's intro drag a little bit so quickly make sure to subscribe boys we're about to hit 9k we're gonna grind for 10k we're gonna be there pretty quickly if you guys really help me out and go smash the sub button comment down below don't forget make sure to like the video and turn on that notification bell to be notified every time i post a brand new video boys now let's get into this okay two minute intro sorry this is only gonna be today and then i'm done with the giveaways for a little bit give it some more time now guys coming over to the market let's see if the let's see if the bottoms here guys have recovered yet probably not all right 80 80s are going for about 9k let's nikki roby coleman right there let's go to rams real quick see if these ever covered even the slightest bit if they're within kk they probably have not i'm seeing them for a little bit in 8k so they're they're still staying low again 80s don't fluctuate too much they're just a good indicator of where the market's sitting at can't really go much off of them again the 81s 81s for 9k probably a pretty good training value you can probably find them for cheaper than that too now let's get over to the 82 83s all the juicy stuff is up high so let's start getting up this market a little bit do i like i'm a little bit too much to the left nah i'm good i'm good all right back to what i was saying 82 let's see matt paredes on the panthers i don't know why i keep going to program let's go to panthers real quick and see what we can do here he's 13k so 13k for an 82 again pretty cheap considering that's what 80s and 81s used to go for so things are obviously on the downswing. Coming on down, where are the 83s sitting at? 83s look like they're going for 19k, which is odd because they typically don't go for 19k. Typically like 16k. So are the 83s up? No, they're like 16k. Okay. Well, that's only one though. The next will go for 18. So 83s are actually a little bit up right now. But this isn't even any. This isn't the cool stuff. The interesting stuff is as we get up. Let's keep going up. 84 to 85. We got. Let's see. Taylor Gabriel 29k. We always got to filter these out. We, can, we can't trust it anymore. There's too many cards. Team of the week. We can get a 84 overall card for 27K. And then let's look at veterans, actually. Veterans are typically pretty cheap, too. Veterans we can get for 27K. And let's see what the 85 is looking like. Where do they start? Let's see. I hate going through veteran cards. They look the same to me. 34K for an 85. 33K for an 85. Again, pretty good training values. If you guys have not seen that video, I have posted a few days ago over the best training values. So... You need to know that. There you go. So 84s, 85s, pretty, pretty simple still. We can still, I think we can still sort by veterans here. 49k for an 86. That's pretty cheap, not gonna lie. And then 87s are looking like 69k, 64k. Let's look at the whole. Remember, guys, a lot of these cheap base elites right here, like, for example, there's gonna be Julio Jones, Ezekiel Elliott, Travis Kelsey. Mud Heroes comes out this Friday. There's a good chance we see either an Ezekiel Elliott, Saquon Barkley. And cars like that so if any if there's any base leads that you know and haven't gotten the first upgrade yet that probably are online for one might be time you start picking those guys up now before their prices go up a little bit when not not as an investment but 
If like they come out with a new Zeke, that Zeke might not go for 57k anymore. Might go for like 70, 75. Not a huge increase, but still. Always want to save coins where you can and when you can. Guys like Earl Thomas again, but again, you have you have power, a lot of power passes probably accumulated at this point, so it shouldn't be the biggest of deals if you want to get one of these guys. It'll be just power passing. A guy like Zach Martin, probably in line. Now let's go over to the higher tier, 88 to 89 is where things start to get interesting. Now again, another place to grab some pretty great base elites, and I'll go over that in a second. Also, if you want training, look how cheap this is right here. Flashbacks. You can get them for about 88k, I've seen them for as low as 84k. So in in terms of this, Melvin Gordon, to power up his 93 series master, costs about like 6k training. If you bought 288s for 84k, that would cost you 168k. I believe and that will get you about 5,000 training so you'd almost be able to power them up full just off of 168k which it would have been a lot more a week or so ago before training crashed even more now a guy that's in line for a new cartoon is most likely Bobby Wagner I wouldn't want him because I know his zone and speed are gonna be pretty low because they're not gonna be a big increase from this card currently but at 100k I if there's gonna be a bunch here with Bobby Wagner or something new coming soon if you want to power him up now it's probably time to pick him up he's probably at a low point in price I mean, again, the market's been weird. It's been a different year for the market, right? But guys like Marcus Allen are probably played out at this point because you're not going to be picking up Marcus Allen's after this. I mean, if you're more of a budget team and he gets cheaper, you probably could. Guys like Landon Collins just came out, so you can't really factor them into the pricing yet. Although, I do really like this Landon Collins. He's more of a box safety. Bradley Chubb has come down quite a bit from his initial price. So has Odell Beckham Jr. Ken Houston, I sold mine for 130 this morning, so he's definitely down a lot. I sold him because I finally picked up this beast real quick. Let me show you guys. Four hours spent this morning of just fumble punt, fumble punt, fumble punt. I finally completed my objective, so I got a monster right here in Pat Tillman. Cannot wait to go try him out on online head-to-heads. If I can get him at a Saquon this week, it'd be a perfect week. And then these themed diamonds I could care less about. I don't really factor them into the market. Guys like Khalil Mack and Aaron Donald, if you don't have them on your team ready, go check those guys out. Now, the 90s to 91s is where it gets really interesting. Will these guys recover, right? So a lot of you guys probably had guys like Derek Brooks that you spent 220 on, Ted Hendricks that you spent 220 on, Jerry Rice that you bought for like 270, and now you're probably sitting there in a panic right now, like what do I do with them? Do I just take the loss? Sometimes you just eat the loss, right? Like I ate the loss on a few of my cards only because I don't think this market's going back up. You guys might be like, okay, it might come back up. I think it's only going to get worse. If not, it's going to stay the same or get worse. I don't see it going down anymore. I mean, or going back up anymore. It just can't, right? It's bad pre-selling for Mud Heroes. Once Mud Heroes actually comes out and then October, the October promo, which is Halloween promo comes out, I can't see it coming back up. So I had to, I ate the loss in a few cards like Ken Houston, but it wasn't really a loss. I've had Ken Houston since the first week. So I expected this much. I got him for like, probably like 280 at the time. I ended up selling him for like 140, but it's no big deal at the end of the day because I lost 100,000 coins on him, probably a little over. But what he's done for the team got me through two months of Madden, got me plenty of weekly league rewards, got me plenty of season wins. Guys like Nick Chubb just came out 183K. Stats are okay. Speed's a little bit low. If it was a little bit higher, he probably would also be a little bit more expensive. The Redux guys, I wouldn't recommend any of them. I did want to pick up McCaffrey, but their prices are kind of just elevated by the fact that they're a Redux, and I can't really envision myself buying any Redux cards at this point. Pretty much everything on this page I see is like off limits right now for me. The way I'm approaching this market right now is that I'm waiting. I'm in with the new, out with the old. So all these cards are old to me. None of these cards are going to make my team long-term better teams. They're just going to make them short-term better teams. The only guy I'm keeping from all of these cards here that I haven't sold yet is Willie Brown. And that's because he goes for 207, and when you look at Willie Brown, you really can't sell him. He gets threshold press. If you power him up or even just chem him up, he gets threshold, threshold press, threshold zone, threshold man, threshold play rec, and he's fast and tall. There's really nothing Willie Brown can't do. So I feel like he's an old card that can still perform in the new set of promos. Now, some of these other guys, I don't think they can. Obviously, guys like Julio and Terrell Owens and stuff can, but I'm not going to spend all those mon that money on them. I'll just wait. See what Mud Heroes has to offer. See what everything has to offer first, then go about. Now, guys, if you've already taken the loss, like I said, I don't see the market going back up. It might come up slightly, but then it might come back down again. I see it fluctuating within a certain range. I do not see it recovering at all. If you guys have already had a loss in your cards, you could wait a little bit till Mud Heroes comes out because once it comes out, people might be like, oh, I didn't really... There wasn't that many good cornerbacks, so Willie Brown might come back up. Oh, I didn't really like the wide receivers they dropped, so Julio and them might come back up a little bit. But it's all it's all chance. I took the loss a little bit on some cards, like Shannon Sharp. I lost like 20k on. No big deal. Got my coins back almost at least. And that's what really matters to me. Now for you guys, I did warn you three weeks ago to sell your team, so hopefully you guys, most of you guys, did that. If you didn't already, might just be time to take the loss. I don't I don't see it coming back up. Could it come back up? Like I said, a little bit maybe. But you got to understand what's more important to you. 
potentially gaining an extra 10 to 20k back on these cards or having a full coin stack for mud heroes you could take advantage of invest do solos enjoy the promo for me it's enjoy the promo so it all depends on who you are what you are and how you go about your madden guys but that is about it for the video i hope that did help you guys a little last minute insight because the thing does drop what is today today's wednesday it does drop in two days so take that as you will be prepared for your mud heroes guys i do have another video coming for you out coming for you guys before and after this so go check those out after you're done watching this and if you haven't already, make sure to like that video, guys. Comment down below 150K. If we get to 1,000 likes on any video today, I will be giving away 150K. So all you got to do is smash the like button, boys. Comment down below 150K. And when you're done with all that, as a side comment not included, make sure to turn on that noti bell and make sure to subscribe to the channel, boys, to be here for all the daily content, tips, market, packs, everything I do on this channel, guys. You won't regret it. The next goal is 10K. Then that's, a, that's my first big milestone. If all goes right and things continue the way they are, I should hit it in about a week, guys. So, really excited for that. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Enjoy the rest of your day. Check out the rest of the videos. Like the video. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.